Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, here, Memphis 10 with y'all with uh, a few special guests. Everybody say hello. 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 The one and only, the Spotted. The Spotted <laughs> there, Doc Usher and uh, Othello. Playing a little uh, <laughs> Battlefield 3 today. This is actually a match that the Spotted uploaded earlier today, but this is uh, through my eyes, if you will. Some uh, some beastly gameplay going on right now, but uh, I don't have any particular topic. Just coming uh, talking about the game. This is my first upload of Battlefield Three. It's uh, actually the first thing I've uploaded in a while. Um, starting out with the recon kit here on accident because I was playing some team deathmatch. I, I fixed that after I die once. I, I personally have played the recon kit. What you're seeing right now, and I have played it none other. If you look at my um, my little circle thing that shows my time with kits, it's all engineer and assault. I have not picked up the uh, what do they call it? The one that has the ammo. What do they call that now? Support. Recon. The, the support. support. Yeah, support. I, I, I haven't used the support kit one time. I, I will say this about me using the sniper class, so it looks like you're using it the way Doc said you use it in the way I agree with you. Without the damn scope on it, that Mark 11 is nice. By itself, you can almost use a single shot assault rifle. Yeah, it basically is just like a single shot assault rifle without a scope on it. I, I've, I'm just not a sniper. I can't, I can't just sit there. It just doesn't play to my play style. So, skill, skill, uh, from one to ten, what do you give this game? Uh, I will give it. I don't know. I would say an eight and a half. I don't want to get too, too greedy out there, but uh, I, I'm very impressed with the game so far. Um, I've heard I've heard things about the campaign now. I'm only I'm probably about halfway through the campaign, and people have been uh, you know, it's good, but it's not great. I'm sure Modern Warfare will be better, I, which I'm sure it'll probably be a better campaign. But it actually has me interested in the story. Like I think the story yeah. is good enough to keep my attention. Yeah, but these are the people who say they don't play campaigns, right? Like I'm not a campaign campaign player. I just strictly play, you know. Uh, Multiplayer, so I, I don't give any kind of, you know, credit to that. So, well, I'm just saying, or I will be honest with you, uh, but I think the thing that we've heard out there in the, you know, in the press or whatever, is correct. You play Modern Warfare, you call it Junior College, you play that for a campaign, you play that for my opinion. Yeah, I completely agree with that statement. Yeah, I yeah, started I, I, it on I, hard, I, and and maybe three missions in. That thing is a motherfucker on hard. They don't have nearly <laughs> enough checkpoints in there. <laughs> you, you die and you're like, okay, well, you should have checkpointed me when I went through that door after I killed the last 50 guys. Nope, I'm back at the start. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Memphis, from right right now, I'll tell you, out of 10, I give this game a 12. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Fuck it. I, yeah, I give it a 12. Fuck it. Anyone that says, well, hey, uh, you know, this game is not so-and-so, I, I honestly don't care. I like the game. I like the fact that it keeps me... Uh, from being bored, and I, you know, when I get up, I'm like, yeah, I need to play this game, and that's that's never happened, right? I've played lots of first-person shooters, and that's never happened. So I give it, I give it a 12. If anyone else wants to uh, disagree with me, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Yeah, who gives a shit? Just in general. objectively, the graphics are fantastic. The audio is good. You can't really sound for. I haven't been able to soundboard in this game. You know, unless I turn my, my headset up so loud, I can't fucking hear anything else ever. Um, so the sound is okay to good. The graphics are fantastic. The gameplay is great. Uh, there have been some lag issues, and I, I, I can't give a game a 10 with the server issues that they have when they had the same fucking server issues a month ago in the beta and didn't fix it. Yeah, but the you thing know, is, it's, it's, it's a new game. <clears throat> it's a new game. But and, and, and about the whole sound, I think it's different. A lot of people are thinking, like, and I'm not saying this is you, though, but a lot of people are thinking, like, the sound should be, like, I can hear this person's footsteps. But it's more in terms of, like, I can hear someone reloading. I can hear someone saying, hey, a grenade is here. Like, if I throw a grenade at some guy and he screams, I know he's over there. So I think that's where, like, if you want to sound someone out, you can hear those kind of, like, you know, cues. Aside from from that, you know, I think it's I think it's pretty fine. The server issue; it's a new game, so you know, I think that yeah. happens with any new game. Yeah. I'm not going to argue with you. Everybody predicted that. I think Doc said that like a month ago. 
you know, it, the servers are what the servers are. It's going to take them a week or two to get it figured out. Once they do, it's going to be fantastic. I still wouldn't go more than maybe nine, two, nine, three on this. Uh, just because there's only one game out this year that's a 10, and that's Gears 3, and you guys know that. Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> Complete lack of response. All right. <laughs> I, 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 Aren't I, I, you I, always I, raging about Gears 3, though? Dude, in the servers? Yeah. I know. That game's the most rage inducing game I've ever played in my life. I have to drink to play Gears so I can keep my blood pressure down. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the greatest game to come out of this year. <laughs> oh, I, that, that was completely a joke. Gear 3 is fantastic. Battlefield 3 is fantastic. I mean, you guys look at it. You guys know what a gearhead I am. Anybody that, that can me the stuff I put up on you, you know that basically my main game and main franchise. I have played Gear since Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. I'm into this game, dude. I put in 20 something hours already in four days, and I have limited gaming time. This is all I've been playing. Yeah, it is and, extremely fun. It did, honestly. Surprisingly, it took me a couple of days to really get into it, but uh, I think day two or three, I guess that would be like Wednesday or Thursday this week, I, I played it for like five hours, and I just went went off. I had a bunch of good games in a row, and it just it completely enthralled me. I'm getting shot at by a, a friendly right there, dumbass. You threw that med pack on the side of a lamppost. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was to make sure everyone could see it. <laughs> Like the way you throw the grenades completely screwed up. Like they never go where I think they're supposed to go when I throw them. Yeah, it is kind of weird, and you can't cook it at all. Like as soon as you press the button, it's coming out. See, yeah, I, yeah. I can't stay in that. Like, um, yeah, you know, in bad, forever. it didn't actually cook the cook the grenade, but you could at least hold it and like aim up real quick. I hate that I have to aim before I actually press the grenade button. Yeah, I think they're trying to prevent people from doing, like, Superman tosses. Now, talk about like, Superman. That, that's what's about oh, to happen right here. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. That's <laughs> nice. This guy and then fucking jump, jump over and knife the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Love the knifing in this game. It, it, I figured it would take a lot of time, but the knifing is really not that bad. Like, I've still been able to run through a small group of people with the knife. And plus, it just it makes it so much more humiliating for them to get stabbed. Yeah, <laughs> they can't do anything about it. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, it's getting stabbed and back in the human just was... I think this is just as humiliating, it's just as bothersome to me. It's like, you know, oh, I got shot, oh, I got, you know, somebody shot me with a shotgun. Oh, I got fucking knife. Every time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and you're always yelling at your teammates, like, shoot this guy, shoot this guy. But I'll tell you guys something, I don't know if you know this, this happened to me the other night. If you've got a teammate or somebody that's shooting the guy during the knife animation, if he doesn't complete it, you don't die. Just in case you didn't know that. What? Like save? You, you can say he's saying you can save someone's tags if you see the dude going into the knife and knifing animation and shoot him before he actually like makes the stab. It'll save it'll that, save the friend. Okay, yeah. I've tried that and I haven't got. I've just gotten assists. Well, I, I don't know. What the you know I don't know what the what the circumstances were I just know in the game I was in a I was in a it was in a room and we were firing at an objective me and a team they were firing at an objective and I saw the animation where the you know the guy flipped you around to where you're facing and he goes to stick me in the throat and he dies and I lived and I was like oh what happened I lived I lived and then I was like hey, I didn't know I could save you. <laughs> It, it only happened once. I've only seen it in, in you know, any direction. Me doing it, him doing it, or me stabbing somebody in the throat. I've only seen it happen once where it's really involved in the film. It was nice to have you from it. Okay, so next time if someone's knifing you, I come around and shoot them. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you scream out and you're only like half a second away. shooting any asshole who's knifing me. I mean, come on. <laughs> or knife them back. I mean, I'm okay with that too. Yeah, I, I knifing for me is like either I kill the person and someone else, either I knife the person and someone else kills me, or I just completely miss and I die. So I don't particularly like you know like the knife. So <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to put up a video later. I'm actually believe it or not going to put even more commentary up in the commentator video from last night. 
where we had a guy, a random in our party, who was a friend of a friend in the party, came running up behind me, and I saw him on the mini map. I turned around and laid waste to him, and then he back. And then saw the name, and I was like, oh shit, is this the dude that's in our party? <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with teabagging a friend that's great. in a game. Nothing wrong with oh, that. This, this is somebody I didn't know. If he hadn't been in our party, I would have just giggled about it. <laughs> <laughs> a similar situation happened to somebody last night. There was. I've been in more parties with uh, random people that I don't know because this game is so much more popular than um, than Bad Company 2 was. But uh, somebody was screaming out just, Yeah, bitch, that's what you get when you come over my face. And like, I was like, yeah, yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> He's, oh, oh, I didn't know that was you. <laughs> hey, I, I just want to say this. I remember this sequence right here. That was me behind that pile of rubble for like five minutes. Yeah, that was some, you know, that was some strategic went, stuff yeah. going on. You, you told me to throw your health pack down because you were going to camp that area. I did, too. I saw the bunch of people up there. But the, the EOD bot went by, and I remember just watching it go by. I'm like, what's that thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's Wally, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know if I should shoot it or, you know, provide it an escort in it. What the hell that thing was? You're supposed to give it a hug, I think, is actually the... So you know the normal protocol. <laughs> yeah, those things it takes a long. They take a long time to kill, though. I've shot those things like maybe I've emptied a clip on that thing and it didn't die. I'm telling you, the one that I saw in this video has been the only one I have seen so far. Mm. The problem with it is, unless you're in a in a like a rush game map, you have to whatever where those things can actually do something. I don't think it's worth the ammo expenditure for the 20 points you get for destroying all the equipment, you know? Yeah, but they scare me, man. Because you hear that thing coming coming by, and I'm like, oh, is, is that... Something? I want to know if it can kill something. I heard it's it supposed kill, to be able though. to damage uh, tanks and shit, but I want to know I if it's got anything on it that'll kill a guy. I want to say I got damaged by one that got close to me, like last night or this morning or something, but I'm not on it. I'm assuming you can if you can kill someone with a repair tool, right? So probably you can kill oh, someone. Is that burn you to death yet with a repair tool in the No, I've been I've been looking to do that as well as defibrillate somebody. Yeah, the can't, the defib won't kill. What? I can't explain it to you. I, I don't know about. Okay, let me let me say this. I don't know about you guys, but the defib panels. I've had real trouble just reviving people with this. Yeah, system. now that that is an issue I will say that I've had quite often. I have to, a lot of times I have to defib people three or four times before they actually uh, come up. Yeah, so maybe it was that I was that I was missing the guy, but <laughs> I, I was I was literally, this guy had a sniper laying on the ground. He had no idea I was behind him. I must have been behind this guy for like 30 seconds trying to kill him with a defib paddle. Yeah, you I guys mean, are I good, man. Often, I did everything you could think of. Oh, nice double with the RPG. <laughs> um, I did everything. That's one of those long kills to spot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fellow, you guys are good, man, because I, I haven't. I probably revived like two people. <laughs> and I've used so much of the assault class. I haven't. I haven't revived it, anyone. It's one of those things that has oh. to be like a conscious a conscious effort. Like it has to be on your mind and you're thinking about like it you almost have to think about reviving people over killing people. And like yeah. get in that mindset. Like I, I did it a lot in Bad Company too, and I mean I'd have matches like entire, you know, thirty minute rush matches where I only get, you know, ten, twelve kills but score three thousand points just because I'm keeping everybody up. Yeah, but in all seriousness, I think it's about knowing your role. I'm not a, a gun on gun. I'm going to lose a lot of fights. I don't know why it is. my connection is just because I suck. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So to me, finding a guy that's a slayer, if I can keep them alive using the these guys' paddle, that's more valuable to our team than me trying to kill and not get the revive. So yeah, it's always on my mind. Yeah, what they need to do is switch, switch uh, the the health kit back to the RPGs, not the RPGs, but the light machine guns. I, I don't like the fact that the the 
revive and all those things are in the assault rifle. Because now you're thinking like, hey, that that's more of a support class, which I don't think it should be. Because anytime I pick the assault class, I I try to kill. My thing is like, hey, I need to kill you, and if you shoot me, I'll, I'll you know replenish my health and keep moving. I see a guy on the floor and he's he needs to be revived. Nine times out of ten, I don't even think about reviving him. So you're right; it needs to be a conscious effort. Well, so. let me let me ask you guys since we had this conversation last night about uh, about why it is why they switched it up, and do you think it's potentially because in like a bad company too, guys with the assault class and a grenade launcher would just drop down the ammo pack and pick them with their grenade launcher and nothing to do for you know ten minutes at a time. Sort of unlimited noob tube ammo, not yeah. benefiting the team at all. I don't yeah, think but so. The noob tubes were terrible in Bad Company. Too. Yeah, <laughs> I think I had maybe fifty kills total with uh, I noob tubes. Bit, but, you know, hey, it's different Yeah, I've, I've Again, been killed with a noob tube in this one several silent. times. Though. <laughs> I have not been killed by a single noob tube here. Really? Yeah. What's the? I got a double on Grand Bazaar with the first day of Game of That and playing Conquest on Grand Bazaar, that uh, the B hallway, I was stuck <laughs> in that hallway for for half a match earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> and like every time I would spawn in, like on my squad mates, and they'd still be in that hallway. I'm like, why the fuck won't y'all leave this hallway, please? It, 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 that's that's a bottleneck, Gary. You can't leave that spot. I've tried to like run to that other section where there's this little metal gate. But once you do that, it says, "Hey, you can't, you can't go here." And I've tried. There's actually there's four other entrances to that hallway, which also can be used as exits that allow that, for easy flanking of the B flag or the A flag yeah, that, or C flag, that, depending on which I side you start at. from. Oh, well, I haven't played Conquest. I I played that under Rush because I, I had the same problem on the PS3 with the people I was playing with. They were just wanting to run straight down the hallway. I'm like, "You kidding me? That's a death trap." That's the god mentality. Follow me down here, and and I'll take you around to this flanking route, and then go back there, and, and we clean up like fucking eight guys in that hallway and cap the B flag like no big deal. It's like Operation Metro. Operation like, Metro is a fucking douchebag, and I hate that map on every um, single I, mode available. Oh, on on Rush, if you're defending, and those guys are usually next to the I think the A flag, you just go down the escalator, come around, and there's like eight guys there. <laughs> you just, just mow them all down. So, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty nice. I think Metro is nice. You know, the first part of the map is pretty decent. The last part is kind of bad. Conquest should have been outside of the subway, is what I think. It like this. It, it totally screws the U.S. Even if they capture the B flag, all their spawns are still down the escalators. Hmm. <clears throat> well... There's the match, there's the commentary. I'm sure we could still sit here talking about this game for another 20 minutes. But uh, we'll save that for the next one. I want to thank you all, all guys for uh, joining me in this commentary. <coughs> and thank everybody for watching. Have a good time, bro. Deuces. Deuces. Yeah.